Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Ranjit again in my EV and I'm driving and uh, the fast charger that uh, many of you were asking me about the 7.2 kilowatt fast charger uh, that had actually gotten installed so I'm just going that it's actually in my new location and uh, let's see the charging because I have been actually charging till now with the regular 3.3 uh, kilowatt charger itself uh, and yes it's an overnight charger so like at night you just plug it in and by the time you come to the morning it is charged but the 7.2 kilowatt uh, charger is supposed to be a lot faster though this is technically not a fast charger the fast chargers that we talk about are actually known as dc fast chargers so they'll be like 25 uh, kilowatt or even 50 kilowatt the max actually supports up to 50 kilowatt the earlier nexon uh, ev and the prime uh, support up to uh, what do you say uh, 25 uh, kilowatt uh, so let's go and uh, let's check out this uh, 7.2 kilowatt uh, charger and see how it does. Uh, uh, the car is showing right now 59% uh, is left and says a range of 188. Uh, some of you have were asking me about the range also. Uh, still just early days. I have driven about 763 kilometers till now. In the past uh, two odd weeks, I would say uh and i'm averaging and i'm not trying to be very economical drive in the eco mode or anything i'm just driving in the regular uh, what do you say city mode because i like the balance of pickup and what you get on that uh, the eco uh, that instant pickup it's a little bit reduced so i'm not liking that so i'm driving in the regular and i'm averaging roughly i would say uh, about three kilometers for one percent of drain so yeah approximately 300 oops sorry a call so what we'll do is uh, i'll we'll head to my new location where we have installed this 7.2 kilowatt charger and uh, i think so the battery will be about 55 percent or 54 percent by the time we reach there we'll put the regular 3.3 kilowatt charger and see how much charge is left how much charge it takes to uh, actually uh, uh, what the 7.2 kilowatt charger again guys remember this is not a dc charger this is also still ac uh, 7.2 kilowatt charger I and mean, there are some misconceptions i'll clear that when i show you the charger also so guys we have come and the battery is actually showing 52 percent left and says 182 kilometers of range still i've driven about 139.5 kilometers what we'll do is first we'll uh, attach the regular uh, charger to this one the 3.3 kilowatt and see how much time does it show and then we'll move to the fast charger so guys this is the portable uh, charger and you don't need anything special just a 16 amp socket and just have to make sure it's earth so this is just regular stuff and uh, let's just plug this in and you have to this is for the regular charger this is for the dc fast charging so we're not using dc fast charging so i'll just and plug this in so i have to just switch this on and on this so we have to look at these three first three should light up in green uh, if anything else then uh, it's an issue uh, so yeah if this is blinking that means our car is now charging the last one should blink and uh, again one thing i noticed is that the earthing should be there and as you can see it says show, showing us the charge right now 52 percent and it says uh, to complete the charge it will take about eight hours now and uh, the current range is 182 kilometers so eight hours with this 3.3 kilowatt charger so i'll just remove this and we'll switch to the uh, 7.2 kilowatt charger this is the 7.2 kilowatt charger again as i told you guys uh, uh, we dug up this so that uh, actually we're going to cover this and this goes and attaches directly to the meter it's a fat uh, pretty 10 core cable as you can see it's pretty thick cable that they are putting and uh, you have to make that the electricity load uh, has at least 10 kilowatt uh, actually there's a misconception uh, that they say this is actually requires three phase no uh, it's actually on a single phase but most of the meters are not rated for this high capacity so you need at least at about 10 kilowatt or more load i have about 40 kilowatt load so that was not a problem okay now let's use this uh, charger i'll just switch to mcb on and in fact it can take up to 32 amps so if you have to wait for a couple of seconds this should actually come in blue color and yes it's now blue color so what i can do is i can take this gun and put it here but again guys the charging will not start we have to actually authenticate this one for the charging to start 
Uh, so they give actually two RFID tags. So I have to actually click this and it gave a beep and uh, this should become green. Ah, as you can see, it's blinking and green. That means it's now actually charging the car. In fact, to even stop the charging, I have to actually tap it with this RFID tag. So this is kind of a security feature that they have so that others cannot misuse this. And let's see now, let's go back to the car. How much time it says so again it's still at 52 percent but now if you notice from that eight hours uh, the charging time is reduced to about three hours so yes definitely uh, this fast charging uh, will uh, speed up the procedure again uh, guys uh, but again it's not a must have i would say if you're mostly doing uh, night charging so i hope uh, you get a better idea regarding the fast charging with this nexon ev max I got this 7.2 kilowatt charge. In fact, technically, it doesn't pull up to 7.2 kilowatts. I believe it pulls up to 6.8, um, max of about 30 amps. That's why they have put a MCB of 32 amps on uh, this one. In fact, uh, this is multicolored. So uh, if there is any error or something that glows in red, it gives a beep. If it's fully charged, I'll also know that this green light will stop uh, actually uh, blinking. Normal usage for most of the time, uh, the 3.3 kilowatt charger is useful. Yes, DC fast charging is there as I've told you. Uh, Tata claims uh, this one, with, if you offer the 50 kilowatt DC fast charger, you might have to do it when you're on highways or something. Uh, they say zero to 80 in about 52 or 53 minutes, I don't recall, something like that. And also some of you were asking me, is it okay to actually charge uh, this car always with the DC fast charging, no. I would say no and even Tata does not recommend that. They say that after every uh, three or four fast charging sessions, you should actually do one regular slow charge. That is with the regular AC charger. That way your battery health will be very good because there is something known as battery conditioning and that happens uh, a lot better when you're using a slow charger. So I hope this video was a little bit uh, helpful. If you have any questions about this uh, Nexon EV, uh, do let me know. I'll try to cover them in the other videos.